Covering news where you live, this is 5 News. Well, hey, thank you for joining us here today for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Troops with the Arkansas National Guard are set to depart for Texas from Fort Smith today. They'll spend time this summer at the U.S.-Mexico border. Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders will be in Fort Smith to see the troops off. About 80 Guards members will help in the efforts to control immigration along the southern border. States like Texas have been dealing with an increase in migrants since COVID air regulations expired last month. Sanders will talk about this at Fort Chaffee today. And police in Fort Smith say a man is dead after allegedly trying to break into a home. Police say it happened on Seven Oaks Drive in Fianna Hills. Investigators tell us the man was breaking into a home when he was shot. He was taken to the hospital and later died. Police say all parties are accounted for at this time. We'll keep you updated when new information comes out. Now, before we get to other news, let's get a check at the weather with meteorologist Zach Scott. And Zach could be one of the hottest days of the year. Yeah, yesterday was, Joe, the hottest day so far, 2023. Today, we should beat that. So, yes, we are on track to see the hottest day so far. This heat wave taking over really got going yesterday, uh, really anchored over us today. we got another hot day tomorrow, but it's already starting to break down the pattern. We'll go into a different kind of pattern as we go into the weekend. So short live, but definitely coming in, packing a punch here. Upper 90s to 101, first triple digits of the year. Going to try to mix into northwest Arkansas today. Uh, yesterday was mid to upper 90s. Today should be about 97, up to 101. River Valley had 90s triple digits on Wednesday for your Thursday 90s triple digits mixed in across the region again up to 102 103 in our warmest spots. Those are actual air temperatures factor in the mugginess feeling more like 103 up to 109 in the orange shaded uh, boxes here. Uh, that's Benton, Washington, Madison, Carroll counties, meaning again heat advisory up to 109 feels like temperature purple counties shaded here. That's 105 up to 115 degrees. So where you see the purple counties, that's where you have the best chance to see the feels like temperature getting above 109 or 110. We start to change a little bit going into Friday. Still another hot day, upper 90s, northwest Arkansas, 90s, triple digits to the south. Another muggy day. Wouldn't be shocked to at least have advisories out for the River Valley. And then as we get into the weekend, we're going to have a chance for some showers and thunderstorms. A few afternoon thunderstorms Saturday overnight. Going to try to get around a storms to survive the trip through Missouri into northwest Arkansas. And then again on Sunday afternoon, Joe could see some more thunderstorms firing up. All right, thanks so much, Zach. Well, this heat is certainly not something to mess around with. Keep your health and the health of your family in mind today. There are some simple ways to keep cool and prevent any sort of heat exhaustion or heat stroke. Baja Simone, the department chief medical officer with the Arkansas Department of Health in Little Rock, says it's important to wear light colored clothing, drink lots of water, and wear sunscreen that's SPF 15 or higher. He also says for those of you who have to work outside, be sure to take breaks so your body temperature can cool down. But if you have to, if they have to work outdoors, like the construction workers or the farmers, since we are an agricultural state, uh, they need to take adequate breaks and come to the shaded area or cooling area to get their temperature, body temperature, come down to normal. Uh, he also recommends wearing a hat and sunglasses and mentioned if you see someone who seems confused or dizzy and looks like they might pass out, fill their skin and if it's dry with those symptoms, he says to call 911 because it's most likely a medical emergency. All right, let's talk about those July 4th celebrations, which are right around the corner. If you're looking for a fireworks show to take the family to, we have a list of them. Bentonville will host a display on July 4th at Orchards Park, or you can catch a show after a ball game at Arvass Ballpark in Springdale. And in Fort Smith, you can watch fireworks light up the sky over the Riverfront Park down by Garrison Avenue. And that's not all. There are many more celebrations. You can browse our website for a full list of fireworks shows where you live, 5newsonline.com. All right, we talk about this every year around this time, the safety when it comes to fireworks. According to the Consumer Product Safety Commission, 
firework injuries have jumped by 25% over the last 15 years. Now officials from Mercy Go Health are giving you a few tips to remember this Independence Day. They're urging people to just skip the sparklers and opt for your town's firework display instead. They also say to follow the usual summer tips like make sure you limit your sun time and of course always hydrate. Well, Razorback fans remembering this week quarterback, former quarterback, rather, Ryan Mallett. He died after drowning in the Gulf of Mexico at only the age of 35. In two seasons at Arkansas, Mallett broke 16 school records and left a lasting impact on his teammates. After his playing days were behind him in college and the NFL, he continued doing what he loved as a high school coach at Mountain Home and Whitehall. One of his former teammates says Malik knew his purpose and pursued it to the fullest. You know, it's about the love of the kids. It's about having a heart for what you do and, you know, being passionate about what you do and living in your purpose. UA Athletic Director Hunter Yurchek says the university lost an incredibly special person. Last night, the university honored his memory by lighting up the stadium with a tribute on the North Video Board. Well, thank you for joining us here today for the latest news and weather where you live. I'm Joe Ellison. Have a good Thursday.